so much for your help last time. I was just ordering some clothes when I ran into him. You know these two as well? Yes, they helped me and Master Kamiji out a great deal last time. I've never had the chance to say thank you properly. What about you? How do you know them? Also a chance encounter. Our Lady had them join us as additional guards for a goods escort in order to sneak out of Rito undetected. What a coincidence! Ah, uh, not exactly. We've only just met. We both came here to order some clothes and got to chatting. Somehow we ended up on the topic of Master Kamaji and Lady Haragi's relationship. Wait, it's okay to talk about that, right? <sighs> it's probably fine. They've known about it for a long time already. Oh, yeah! Paimon remembers those two had a thing! In fact, that was why Chisato wanted us to deliver a letter. That's old news, though. So, why has it come up now? <gasps> Are they taking the next step or something? We have reason to suspect that they'll be getting married soon. Wow, that's great! They can finally make it official! Of course, this is just personal speculation. They haven't announced anything, and we wouldn't dare to ask. I was instructed to place an order for some formal wear for a big banquet. Turns out that Ipe received the exact same instructions as I did. They're both preparing for a banquet at the same time. They're both purchasing the kind of fine wine and confectionery normally reserved for big festivals. It's hard not to put two and two together. Uh, Lady Hiragi has been in high spirits recently, and I heard she's on a diet as well. Surely it's all for the wedding. This is wonderful news! But, um... What's wrong? Oh, don't mind me. She's about to be happily married to the love of her life. I genuinely couldn't be happier for her. Right? I think so too. It's fantastic. Yes, but we shouldn't let ourselves get overexcited. What if it's all a big misunderstanding? As things stand, we have no actual proof of a wedding. Now, if they sent me out to deliver wedding invitations, that would be a different story. Shinochu doesn't look like he's taking this very well at all. Uh, sorry, I just haven't slept well recently. I'm ashamed to be so out of sorts at work. I'm not living up to my responsibilities, either to the Kanjo Commission or to my lady. Are you worried about their wedding? Uh, not exactly, it's just everything feels kind of up in the air until they make it official. <sighs> I get what you mean, I really do. We need this wedding to be set in stone before the celebrations can really begin. What should we do? Should we just straight up ask them? I don't know. That seems a bit rude. Right! If Ayaka knows about it, that means it's a sure thing! I... I don't think it's a good idea to bother the Yashiro Commission about this. Fine. He and Ayaka are practically best buds. There's nothing to worry about. I see. Then thank you. Thank you very much. Having a definite answer will stop my thoughts from running wild. Let's go to the Kamisato Estate! This place impresses me every time I come here. It's so magnificent, but still so elegant. We'll just wait here. We don't want to cause any extra trouble for you. Ayaka wouldn't mind. 
Honestly, even if we did come with you, we wouldn't know what to say or do once we were inside. <laughs> so we'll just leave you to it. All right then, we won't be long. Without looking at the board, you've ruined my strategy in one move. Amazing. Hmm. Now what should I do next? Ayaka, Toma, it's us! Huh? <laughs> hey guys, it's been a while. If you're looking for my lady, I'm afraid she's not here right now. Oh? <gasps> that voice. Toma, would that happen to be the Traveler? Uh, yes. <laughs> Greetings, Traveler. Ayaka speaks of you constantly. Finally, today is the day. I am head of the Kamisato clan, and Yashiro commissioner, Kamisato Ayato. Greetings, both. I have long been indebted to you on my sister's behalf. Finally, I have the chance to express my profoundest gratitude to you in person. Ayaka is out today. If you are here regarding anything related to the Kamisato clan, you are quite welcome to discuss it with me instead. Oh, I... Uh, hi! Your flattering words... flatter us. Um, <laughs> please excuse the suddenness of our visit, for it is most improper etiquette. <laughs> <laughs> Why on earth are you talking like that? Well, he seems like a pretty powerful person. He's already working his way up Paimon's list of people to never mess with. Look, as soon as he stands up, the whole atmosphere in the room changes, and it feels like you gotta be super polite. <laughs> you shower me with praise undeserved, my little guest. There is no need to be quite so formal. This is a private residence, so please... Relax. Oh, good. Cause that whole spiel was really tiring just now. Alright, now that that's over, Paimon's just gonna ask the question. We heard a rumor that Kujo Kamaji and Hiragi Chisato are gonna get married soon. Do you know anything about that? Oh? I wouldn't have thought you'd heard about that yet. I see. Well, it's true. It wasn't long ago that I received the news myself. The head clans of two commissions are to become joined through marriage. This is big news for the whole of Inazuma. Since the Yashiro Commission presides over cultural and ceremonial affairs, it closely involves us, too. Yes. And since the commissions are kind of the face of the Almighty Shogun to the masses, this wedding is one that we have to treat as a serious affair. Right! Makes sense! Ah, two true lovers becoming husband and wife. What a happy occasion. It is. High-profile matrimonial links between two commissions are extremely rare. But these two truly love each other. Tradition should give way to freedom in this case. All right, then. I'll be sure to pay them a visit to send the best wishes of the Kamisato clan. Hmm. No need. I'll visit them personally this time. Huh? But you have other things to be doing. This is a marriage between the Kujo clan and the Hiragi clan. The Kamisato clan must demonstrate an appropriate level of respect. The work of the Yashiro Commission is indeed multifarious. Normally, weddings and other ceremonies would come under the supervision of my sister. But she is presently occupied with other matters, and I happen to have a little time to spare. This will be a good chance for me to pay a visit to the bride and groom. Oh, and would you two care to join me? I presume you two have a special connection with the individuals in question, or you would not be quite so interested in this matter. This being the case, why not come and offer your best wishes too? Or is my presumption incorrect? Oh, it's not as interesting as you make it sound. No special connections here. Super ordinary ones, actually. We just agreed to help deliver a letter this one time, that's all. Uh, although wait, does that mean we helped make this wedding happen? Eh, all right.
I can. I cannot thank you enough. Your mere presence shall surely mean we are spared the futile pursuit known as small talk. Wait, you're the Yashiro Commissioner, but you can't do small talk? <laughs> small talk is a chore. Of course, there are some people in the world who quite enjoy doing chores, but I am not one of them. Toma, I'm heading out with my two guests now. I'll leave the residence in your capable hands. Not a problem. Take care, my lord. Ah, you're finally... Ah, Yashiro Commissioner! Hmm. Who are these two? They're friends of ours! Paimon will do the introductions! So it's true. Well, there we have it. That's it then. So be it. Great, so our hunch was spot on. It is a little inappropriate for me to have shared news of this magnitude with you. So I would be much obliged if you could keep it in strict confidence until an official public announcement is made. B don't worry, sir. We, we give you our word. We won't tell anyone about it. That puts my mind at ease. Now, on the topic. We'd like to pay a visit to the Kujo clan. Would you mind leading the way for us? Of course not. I'd be honored. I guess this is where I... Goodbye, then. Aw, oh, cheer up, Shinojo. I'll try. Thank you. Alright then. Please excuse me. I'll lead you to it from here. Okay. Thanks, Ipe. I apologize that your impromptu visit comes at a busy time for us, Commissioner. Otherwise, you can be sure that we would have prepared a more extravagant reception. I don't mean to impose, Sir Kujo. In fact, I'm not here on official business at all. I heard the good news about yourself and Lady Hiragi. What a glorious marital alliance this shall be. Given the close ties between our clans, it seemed only right that I should come and offer the Kamisato clan's congratulations in person. Oh, I'm truly honored. I hope the news didn't come as too much of a surprise. Hey there! We came to congratulate you as well! Since the incident with the Takatsukasa clan, things in the Tenryo Commission have slowly started to stabilize. I'm still acclimating to the position of acting head of the clan. I just hope I'm up to the task so I can live up to everyone's expectations. You're far too modest. The public thinks very highly of you. They say you're hardworking, upright, and responsible. Uh, I'm flattered, but I wouldn't have achieved anything without the support of my people. Thanks to them, everything is gradually stabilizing, and I finally had the chance to focus a little on my personal life. <laughs> well, you're certainly making big progress in that department! <laughs> Come on now, you're embarrassing me. Uh, pardon me, I... um... It's perfectly alright. Please, continue. I'm quite content to listen. It's a joyous occasion. Lighthearted is exactly how things should be. Really, who stays stony-faced when talking about a wedding? You're right. But I am curious to know, what's your honest opinion on the whole thing? Do you think it's... too sudden? <laughs> of course not. Where there is true love, nothing should be allowed to stand in its way. No doubt people will offer you a, a colorful variety of opinions. But of course, you will have factored this into your decision, and I'm sure you are prepared for whatever challenges may lie ahead. Indeed I am. So, please be confident. When your mind is made up, you ought not be worried about things for which you are already well prepared. 
Nevertheless, there is just one small aspect of this that puzzles me a little. Please, go ahead. You've been working hard to bring the Tenryo Commission in line. This is positive, and no doubt the beginning of important change. But on the other side of this equation, Lady Hiragi's father, Hiragi Shinsuke, is still in prison. If you choose now, of all moments, to announce a marriage between the Hiragi and Kujo clans, the kinds of rumors that may begin to spread both among the general public and in the Kanjo Commission are not likely to be in either of your best interests. Yeah. Couldn't have put it better myself, Sir Kamisato. This has been my biggest concern for quite a while now. Hiragi Shinsuke is firmly against me having any contact at all with Chisato. In the past, we've always had to communicate in secret by sending letters. So although now may not look like the best timing for this marriage, it may well be the only opportunity we have. Oh, that guy? Yeah, he acts like this sweet old man, but he was determined to make as much trouble for us as possible. Oh, he is the worst! I can see where you're coming from. But you're only postponing the problem, not solving it. You will still have to face it sooner or later. <sighs> yes, I'm well aware of that. But since Chisato had the courage to ask me to marry her in spite of everything, how can I disappoint her? Well, sort of. She raised the idea in a letter, and after some initial hesitation, I went to meet her and have a serious conversation about our future. It's funny, actually, because when I formally proposed to her in person, she denied having ever written that letter. <sighs> so coy. Huh? Really? She didn't say. She just acted confused by the whole thing. She really committed to it. I'll never forget the look on her face. Oh. Anyway, as her boyfriend, I knew she was just pretending. So I played along and said, Ah, I was only joking about the letter. And then I proposed. After making some disgruntled noises about me making a stupid joke, she blushed and said yes. We spent that afternoon working through all the details of the wedding. Okay. So you discussed it and decided on a date? We did. I guess it was a chance to finally express our commitment to one another, clearly and completely. And you know what? I think it was about time. No matter what happens next, I will always be there for her as the one person she can always rely on. Oh, give me a break. Sorry, but Paimon's been wanting to say this the whole time. Is it just this dude, or does everyone in love act like this? He just won't stop talking! Uh, apologies, my friends. And also to Sir Kamisato. I must sound like a fool. Far from it. On the contrary, seeing you so positively smitten puts my mind at rest. No surer evidence could there be of your true feelings and your commitment. If I had any reservations before, I certainly don't now. I wish you a joyous wedding when the day comes. Yeah, even if it's kinda irritating to see you all smug like this, it's still a happy occasion. Good luck on the day, and have a happy wedding! Thank you all. It means a lot. We have some other business to attend to now. Until next time. Very well. I'll see you out. Seems busy. That must be true for anyone about to get married, right? It's a happy kind of busy, though. You're right. Kujo Kamaji is on Cloud Nine. What do you think, Traveler? He chalked it up to her being coy, but that doesn't sound like the Hiragi Chisato I know. It bothers me also. But unfortunately, attempting to seek the truth of the matter would likely be fruitless. Whenever we come across stuff like this on our adventures, we always find a way to get to the bottom of it. I see. So that's how adventurers think. In my opinion, we face two obstacles in this case. Firstly, we have very little information to go on, and I must be cautious about taking a stance. This makes it difficult to investigate. Secondly, and more importantly, the person involved doesn't seem to care. If we intervene without his blessing, good intentions may lead to catastrophic results. You do have a point. Kamaji doesn't seem worried at all. Everything in the world is intertwined. What looks like a simple outcome is often the result of multiple conflating reasons. 
Seeking the full truth would be a long and laborious process. It would be inefficient. Sort of. I have to take this approach, or the work of the Yashiro Commissioner would never be done. My opinion is something like this. When something strange happens, instead of trying to find out what could have caused it, it is better to look at the situation itself. If the outcome is positive, and no one was deceived or harmed in the process, then it is acceptable. We don't know yet. After all, we don't know what Hiragi Chisato's thoughts are, do we? I have to say, I'm impressed by your ability to zero in on the issue from such a short meeting. Most insightful of you. You are thorough and thoughtful, just as my sister describes. Huh? But Chisato and Kamiji have already talked everything through, haven't they? Only if we are to take Kujo Kamiji at his word. But there are two sides to every story. I wish to know Hiragi Chisato's angle on this. Huh. Makes sense, but Paimon still doesn't quite get it. Don't worry about it. I was planning to visit the Hiragi clan to deliver my best wishes anyway. Let's take the opportunity to hear her thoughts. If she's as committed as Kujo Kamiji, perhaps they can navigate the challenges ahead successfully. But if not... Well, life isn't always a smooth journey. Still much to prepare for the wedding. Hmm. Should we also invite some prominent business leaders who frequently visit Rito? Hmm. At the very least, we should send them invitations. I agree. Ah, hello there, Yashiro Commissioner. To what do we owe the honor on this fine day? As it happens, I'm here regarding the same wedding I believe I heard you discussing just now. I come bearing the felicitations of the Kamisato clan. Would Lady Hiragi happen to be available at this moment? Our lady is entertaining guests right now, and we're not entirely sure how long she will be. But please, do come in. We will arrange some tea and snacks for you and your attendants. Hey! Paimon is not an attendant! <laughs> you misunderstand. These two are dear friends. <laughs> You're too kind. We don't wish to impose. We'll just wander around in the general area. Apologies for the interruption while you're busy with preparations. Please, let us know once Lady Hiragi is available. Nonsense, Commissioner. No imposition at all. This wedding is a joyful occasion, and all the other clans who serve the Hiragi clan are most delighted for them indeed. We're merely doing the best we can to make this wedding as grand an affair as possible. When the time comes, we'll invite everyone in the clan and even the general public to attend. That sounds splendid. We'll leave you to it. Take care, Commissioner! Seems like you guys talked a lot without actually saying anything. Hence why I dislike small talk. Our timing was not ideal, but never mind. I spotted a stall on our way over where we can pass the time. The owner always manages to come Oh, it's Toki! Ah, it's you! Good to see you again. Seems like you're always showing up with a VIP in tow. Oh? So you know the owner as well? Yep, we tried his dongle milk a while back with the almighty Shogun in Inazuma City! Ah, I see. So you were involved in that. I'd caught wind of this dongle milk. But I didn't know that it had anything to do with you two. <laughs> I always order one of his creative drinks whenever I pass the stall. The flavor is always new and interesting. When I noticed he'd set up shop in Rito, I simply had to come by. Oh, thanks to you all, my business is finally beginning to take off. More and more people are willing to give my creative cuisine a shot. It gave me the confidence to decide that I'm going to stick to creative cuisine from now on. On the one hand, I wanted more people to be able to try out my culinary creations. 
On the other hand, I wanted my customers to experience the joy of being creative too. So I gave it a lot of thought and finally came up with an all new business concept. Sounds interesting. What is it this time? I've decided to give complete creative control to the customer. I offer all sorts of ingredients and they pick and choose whatever they want to mix with their milk or tea. As well as Dango, I now offer rice cake, purple potato balls, black sugar, and sunsetia. Do they really not go well with milk? Hmm, hard to imagine, but who knows? It could be delicious. What if I were to choose some ingredients you don't have here? Would that be okay? Uh, well, I, I guess so. Any novel ideas you have, Commissioner, please feel free to tell me. I'll go buy the ingredients right away. The whole idea was to let my customers express their creativity freely. So, of course, I shouldn't place restrictions on the ingredients if I can help it. <laughs> Excellent. There are a few things I'd like to try. Lavender melon, seagrass, and sea ganoderma. Uh, what? You want to mix those with milk? I do indeed. Why? What's wrong? You really think that's going to turn out tasting good? It's all about the experience. The taste is secondary. It's great to try new things. Traveler, any thoughts? Uh, doesn't Paimon get a say in this? So this is peer pressure, huh? Well, all right then. Bring it on. Paimon can take it. Three milks with sea ganoderma, please. No problem. Give me a second, and I'll have them ready in just a moment. Here, your milk is ready. Give it a try. <laughs> Somehow Paimon got it down eventually, but... Oh, Paimon feels lightheaded. I think it's alright. It has quite a... fascinating texture. Your review seemed pretty positive. But Paimon still thinks there are better combinations. Taste is your key concern, yes? Obviously! Tasty food and drinks are some of life's most important pursuits! Well said. If I could say the same was true for me, I believe I'd be a very content man. Yes. No one has unlimited energy, and I try to conserve mine for the things that really count. To create some mental breathing room, I try not to overthink the less critical matters. Having my sister attend public events in my stead, and having Toma as housekeeper has also been a great help, and allowed me to focus. We're just passing the time here though, right? Is there anything else to think about than what we're doing right now? One or two things. Let's continue this discussion somewhere else. I noticed something before we left the Hiragi clan's residence. No, it was just a small detail. I was curious to know their thoughts on the wedding, so I asked them about it. Naturally, they responded that all other clans are happy for the Hiragi clan. But that's not the truth. What do you mean? Hiragi Shinsuke is still in prison, meaning the Kanjo Commission is the least stable in the Tri-Commission. Hiragi Chisato is the sole remaining pillar of her clan, but now she plans to marry into the Kujo clan. If I belonged to one of the assisting clans to the Hiragis, I would not be feeling optimistic about the future. But they didn't mention a word about that. They simply said they were delighted for them. These are not unintelligent people. I highly doubt it is because they simply do not realize. I imagine they didn't want to discuss family issues in front of outsiders. But still, the more I think back over that conversation, the more it doesn't sit right. Keep a close eye on them, Hisashi. Yes, sir. Whoa! Where did you come from? This is one of my most trusted members of the Shumatsuban. He's been quietly watching out for us this whole time. Merely doing my duty, sir. Keep a close watch on the clan representatives we met today. Well received. I'm on the case. Oh, and I almost forgot. That milk I just had? Please order one more and deliver it to Toma. As you wish, sir. Oh no, poor Toma! Sir Kamisato, Lady Hiragi's previous engagement is now concluded. She's waiting for you in the courtyard. Thank you kindly. 
Let's go and see Hiragi Chisato. Sir Kamisato had brought some guests, but I didn't know it was you two. It's been a while, Lady Hiragi. How have you been faring? This is a rare privilege, Sir Kamisato. It is not often that I have the chance to meet you, let alone here in the comfort of my own home. I'm doing very well indeed, thank you. You must be so busy. Thank you so much for taking the time to come and congratulate Kamaji and I. It really means a lot. But of course. The Tri Commission are the servants of the Shogun, and we should look out for one another. In fact, we visited Sir Kujo just now. It's clear that he's very much looking forward to the wedding. Perhaps his joy is infectious, for I am now feeling rather elated myself. I sincerely wish you a joyful wedding and a blissful marriage. <sighs> Thank you for your kind words. <clears throat> this was not an easy decision to make. We will both have to work harder from now on. I'm sure the news will cause something of a stir. But come what may, we will stand as one and face whatever the future throws at us, together. Sounds like things are pretty tough for you, Chisato. Yes. Um, to be honest, I'm still a little nervous about it all. But Kamaji has been so supportive. His promises have comforted me a lot. It sounds like you have some considerable reservations, Lady Hiragi. Yes. Well, there are so many things I need to consider. In case you were wondering, I was not actually entertaining VIPs just now. I was in fact meeting with one of the Kanjo Commission's officers, Shinojo. Oh! Really? Him? Mm-hmm. He charged in all of a sudden and said that he had something very important to tell me. He didn't mince his words. Basically... He doesn't want me to marry Kamachi. He has always been a calm and contained person who never acts out of line. I was quite shocked to see him so agitated. But despite all that, what he was saying made a lot of sense. He thinks that now is a bad time for this wedding to happen. He pointed out that I am like the final pillar propping up my clan. If I marry into the Kujo clan... That pillar is taken away. There will no longer be a voice of authority in the Hiragi clan. And it could be a disastrous move for my personal image, too. It's just two families becoming one big family, though, right? What's the big deal? Traditionally, in Inazuma, clan affiliation influences every facet of life. After the wedding, Lady Hiragi will belong to the Kujo clan. The Kanjo Commission's attitude toward you may undergo some significant changes thereafter. Precisely. This is a terrible thing to be saying, but... I'm starting to have second thoughts. Maybe I went along with it all too easily. Maybe I allowed myself to be pushed into this. Uh, I'm so sorry. I can't believe I'm making my guests listen to me complaining. No problem at all. The Ashiro Commission has a duty to listen to you. Now that I've heard your concerns, I should offer to help you as best I can. For instance, by helping you gather your thoughts on the matter. Now, we heard from Sir Kujo that his decision to tie the knot was prompted by a letter he received from you. But we've also heard that you did not write that letter. Sir Kujo thought that perhaps you were just being coy. Oh, dear. Perhaps I should have kept that part to myself. What? But that was... It was just a prop in his playful proposal, wasn't it? It was clearly purpose-designed, what with all the fancy lettering and so on. Fancy lettering, you say? So I am to understand that had it not been for this letter, you two may not have chosen this moment to be wed? 
When it comes down to it... Yes, I think so. Oh, do you mean to say that this letter is not what I thought it to be? Sir Cujo maintains that the letter was penned by your hand. Huh? But then... How did... Either way, it's wonderful to see how much you both trust one another. In that sense, you could say that the origin of the letter is ultimately not of great importance. Who knows? Perhaps Sir Cujo was the one being coy. After all, he had no particular reason to be forthcoming with us about the details of his playful proposal. Hmm. I understand. <laughs> As you say, ultimately, the origin of the letter doesn't matter. But my position does matter. <sighs> Kamaji and I thought that we needn't worry about anything that lies ahead, because we can face it all together. But now, I... <sighs> I think I should give it some more thought. Marriage is the most important decision of your life. Don't let yourself regret it. It is also part of the Yashiro Commission's job to help people through difficult times. I say this as an advocate for you personally, and for the Hiragi clan. Please, do not be compelled by circumstances to make any decision that goes against your will. To be together with the one you love is a sacred thing. It is my earnest wish that both of you may enjoy a bright and beautiful future, not a bittersweet one. I'll take to heart every word you have said to me. I can't thank you enough, Sir Kamisato. I'll think very carefully about your advice. All that matters is that you follow your heart. <sighs> Since you'll be needing some time to think things over, we will excuse ourselves now. Oh, wait! Let me see you out. Thank you, Lady Hiragi, but there will be no need. Traveler, let's find somewhere to talk. Hiraki Chisato is on a totally different page than Kujo Kamiji. Ayato. Why did you give her such vague suggestions? Couldn't you just have told her what you'd do in her position? Cause Paimon's pretty sure you have an idea. I've said everything I can, given the Yashiro Commission's stance. Interfering too much with other Commission's domestic issues will only create trouble. And the more I think about it, the stranger this all seems. But Hiragi Chisato has yet to see it. We must be vigilant. Strange? In what way? Someone wants Hiragi Chisato to be married as soon as possible, and if my guess is right, it is someone from within the Kanjo Commission. This person is presumably also responsible for the mysterious and misleading letter. Think about this. A lowly officer is greatly worried about Hiragi Chisato's future, while the heads of the supporting clans ostensibly have no concern at all. It doesn't add up. When someone's words and actions do not match, you need to infer their intentions from their behavior. Yes. It's a smart strategy. Far superior to the one adopted by the Tenryo Commission's Takatsukasa clan. Even had the forged letter failed and been seen for what it was, there would have been no repercussions. They could simply have explained it away as a misguided but well-meaning matchmaking attempt by a member of the family. But if the letter were to achieve its goal as it has so far, the perpetrator would successfully weaken the Hiragi clan without ever having to lift a finger against them, all under the guise of simply encouraging a wedding. With Hiragi Chisato having married into the Kujo clan and the head of the Hiragi clan in prison, challenges to the Hiragi clan's leadership would begin to emerge throughout the ranks of the Kanjo Commission. Eventually, another clan would take the Hiragi clan's place. Actually, we have evidence. His name is Shinojo. Shinojo? Hmm. He should be back by now. Yes, sir. Ah! <gasps> That's the second time!
time you've done that. Paima cannot deal with this. Did they take one of the Kanjo Commission officers away? Yes. His name is Shinojo. As I expected. They cannot afford to let this opportunity pass them by. They have to act now while the Hiragi clan is at its weakest. Hiragi Chisato had been persuaded by Kujo Kamaji, and the wedding was sure to go ahead. But, after Chisato's meeting with Shinojo, she began to have second thoughts. In their eyes, Officer Shinojo has interfered with their plan. But why did they suspect him and not us? Someone was eavesdropping on our conversation with Chisato the entire time. That's why I was a little reserved. <gasps> no way! Whew. Lucky Paimon didn't say anything stupid! <sighs> but Chisato got what you meant about the letter though, right? I think so. But whoever is behind this will not allow their plan to fail now. They will not be inclined to respect Hiragi Chisato's own wishes. Her stance was so passive that she was easily manipulated. Treated like a pawn with even her marriage becoming a battleground for political power play. Despite all of this, she still believed that a happy future was awaiting her. When she formally marries into the Kujo clan, she will lose her title as daughter of the Hiragi clan, her position in the Kanjo Commission, and above all, her independence. Huh. Marriage is such a trap. Easier said than done. The perpetrators are manipulating everything from the shadows, letting unsuspecting pawns do their work. This is what makes their approach so smart. We, meanwhile, are out in the open. If we attempt to stop this wedding from happening, we will become the villains of the story and face immense public backlash. Um, so what are we gonna do? At this stage, if the perpetrators wish to maintain control over the situation, their only option is to come out from the shadows and bare their fangs. I will wait for that moment to arrive. But first things first, we must go and rescue Shinojo. He has done nothing wrong and does not deserve to be punished. Tell me where Shinojo is. We'll head off right now. <laughs>